Welcome to 843 TV, where communities come to speak. I'm your host, Carrie Smoot from the Village Spa. And I'm Michael Burgess with the Technical College of the Low Country. And today we are in Old Town Bluffton and we are here at the location for the Bluffton Greater Chamber of Commerce. And we are on Gothi Road. Yes. <laughs> Go Gothi. <laughs> There's been some discussion about the pronunciation. Gothi. So our first guest is Miss Sally West Hodges and she is with the Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. And we have Joe Steffi. She is the Vice President of the Board of Directors for Sun City. And we also have Mr. Gary Trim. He is with Buck Walter Place, and he will be here talking about all the fun things going on at Station 300. Yeah. I like Station 300. <laughs> My boys like Station 300. Yes, so. all children <laughs> like Station 300. So make sure you stay tuned, and we'll be right back with some more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. We're here with Shelley West Hodges with the Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Welcome. Thank you. The Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce is new and developing. Uh, what kind of things are happening? Well, we're focusing most of our development on small business assistance and helping some of the small business owners around town and getting exposure for their business and any kind of help they may need with anything specific for their business. It could be finance, it could be marketing, um, even you know some administrative assistance. Okay. Well, Shelly, most of our businesses around Bluffton are small. What are the advantages of being tied in with all this? Well, one of the things that we really try to communicate to our members is really getting involved with the community and building partnerships with other groups around town and really providing a vehicle for them to network and, and get their name out there. Tell us about the vision of the Bluffton Chamber of Commerce to enhance small business in the community. Well, one of the things that we're doing right now is we're really focusing on nonprofits and the needs of nonprofits and how they can actually band together with some of the small businesses and give them exposure and really form partnerships with them because there is an opportunity for them to work together and really help each other. And what will those partnerships look like? Well, it could be, you know, for events and fundraising. Um, nonprofits really have an opportunity to get exposure. You know, they get exposure through the media. If they have a small business, for instance, that's partnering with them, that business would get that exposure. They also have a great pool of volunteers, you know, to get the word out and, and really kind of develop the fundraising and I think enhance. Holidays the are always a perfect opportunity for a nonprofit to be involved with local business. Sure. Because yeah. I know that every Christmas we all do. We'll get we'll pick kind of a nonprofit and allow our customers to do donations and toy drives or whatever. And it's a great opportunity for our clients to be exposed to whatever nonprofit. And it brings new people in too, so it kind of works both ways. Yeah, actually. it's good activity. It's it really is good exposure for both types of businesses. And so what kind of new events do you guys have going on right now? I know there's we definitely want to touch on there's a big event coming up for the Bluffton Chamber. Well, um, just to not get away from the nonprofit, we do have a couple of events that we're doing with um, Bluffton Self Help and the Children's Center. And Bluffton Self Help, we have a networking event the Tuesday right before Thanksgiving to do a can drive in a networking event at Bluffton Self Help and bring business people in and get donations because they're one of um, one of the businesses around here that really focuses on Bluffton families and they have a need for non-perishable items. So we're hoping to do a food drive for them then. And then the Children's Center will be working with them and doing a networking in December uh, to bring in, you know, whatever they need and get people to bring in donations and also network and exchange business cards and really get to know other people in the community. Right. Excellent. So there are these opportunities for the Chamber to make connections with businesses and nonprofits. Uh, so it looks like there's plenty of opportunities through the Chamber for persons to get involved with the community. What are some other opportunities or programs that might allow that to happen? Well, we're always looking for volunteers and we have lots of committees. Uh, we have a nonprofit committee, events, marketing, finance, government, and there's a lot of retirees out there and we really would like to tap into some of those folks that may be looking for something to do that have expertise out there that may want to get involved with us. We also look for worker bees. There's people that may want to come and do something fun and help us man a booth or 
you know, help us do some fundraising. Um, that's a great way to get involved. And also just our networking events. Um, anything like that that we can, you know, get their face out there. Sure. That's great. You said something interesting earlier. You talked about uh, if a business needed administrative help. And I know for a lot of businesses, this can be a challenge. They may have real expertise in the, the service that they provide or the product that they provide, but how do you all go about helping them administratively? Well, if anyone has, you know, part of our membership, we do have the facility here that's on um, 217 Nanny Co. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Goaty Road. Um, we have offices for people to use. Uh, we have a business center here that is, serves as a mailing center if they need to have a physical address to receive mail. We do registered agent for them. Um, we also have, you know, fax, copy. You know, if they need something light, administrative, we'll do that for them. We're also no notaries. We do notary service here. Sure. So just trying to incorporate things that they may need, especially for people who may work out of their home that don't have a so-called office space. Right, they don't have that space yeah. uh, to work. And while yeah. it may seem like it's light stuff, it's really critical. To be yeah. able to, to get your business off and running yeah. to have that kind of sure. service available. Sure. And, we, you know, we offer other programs. We have a partnership with the Charleston Metro Chamber. And we have a South Carolina accredited course that we're teaching here now on Thursday nights, which just was the cost of books. So it's very nominal for a 10-week course to teach business owners how to start their business plan. And it's step by step. And it's a really good program. We have a lot of people from the area that are experts that come in and speak to that group and facilitate that course. So that's... Another great thing. How many Excellent. small businesses are members of the Bluffton Chamber? We have a little over 200 businesses right now, and our goal was to have 250 by the end of the year. So we, we think we're right there on target. Right. Right. It's great. Very good. Very good. All right, so back to events. What's the big one coming up? Because I'm not missing the Low Country Boil. Yeah, the, the biggest event. Yeah, the biggest event, which will be our annual event, is the Low Country Boil, okay. and it's going to be down at the Bluffton Oyster Park, and that's November 10th from 5 to 8. And it's the regular fixings, the shrimp, the corn, the potatoes, um, the sausage, it all gets boiled in a pot. It's a great local all fair, and it's all you can eat. And mm -hmm. it's, we also have barbecue for those people who don't, may not prefer that. I don't know why, but <laughs> um, Send them back home. I don't know who would want to eat the shrimp. <laughs> exactly. um, and we also have Low Country Bull, the band, which is our bluegrass band here in town that's wonderful. We'll be playing there. And it's really a, a fun event, and it's our fundraiser for the chamber. And that's going to be, be when? At November what? 10th from 5 to 8. At the Old Oyster Factory. Yes. And tickets are available here at the chamber. Awesome. How many people are you expecting? I hope about <laughs> two to 500. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. We hope a for lot. a lot. Yeah. Hope for a lot. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Shelly West Hodges, we wish you a lot of luck with uh, the upcoming events. And we'll be back with more 843 TV.